friends welcome you all in second year engineering course in this year we have mathematics paper which is vector calculus and differential equation in this paper we have two units is on vector calculus and remaining four units is on differential equation so today we are going to see some basic concept of vectors uh, vector algebra so uh, first we see introduction of vector algebra now this vector calculus is widely used in many fields of engineering such as electromagnetic field gravitational field fluid flow or uh, in robotics also and uh, there are so many uses of vector calculus in day to day life whenever there is a force acceleration torque exists then vector calculus come into the existence now our course objective is we recall some basic concept of vectors then we find out angle between the vectors and the at the end of this lecture our course outcome is you can able to define scalar and vector as well as you can calculate angle between two vectors now what is scalar quantity scalar quantity means it has only magnitude means what uh, mass density distance this is nothing but the scalar quantity vector quantity a quantity having magnitude as well as direction is called as vector quantity for example force velocity acceleration and this is nothing but the vector quantity now how to denote the vectors vectors are denoted by a bar a bar denotes vector a, a over bar denotes vector which is denoted by a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap this cap represent it is a unit vector i cap j cap and k cap is a unit vector along the x y and z direction and this a1 a2 a3 represent the distance along uh, x direction y direction and z direction now to find out magnitude of this vector we find out modulus of a and this modulus of a is square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square now if we want to find out direction vector that is a cap a cap is equal to a vector divided by its magnitude this is called as direction vector of a cap vector now dot product of two vectors dot product of two vectors so suppose one vector is a bar which is a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k and another vector is b bar which is b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k then dot product of these two vectors a dot b it is equal to a1 multiplied by b1 multiplied by i dot i i dot i is 1 then a1 multiplied by b2 multiplied by i i dot j i dot j is 0 then uh, a1 multiplied by b3 into i dot k i dot k is also 0 so i dot i means angle between these two vectors is 0 and cos 0 is 1 that's why i dot i is 1 i dot j means angle between these two vectors is 90 degrees so cos of 90 degrees is 0 that's why i dot j and i dot k become 0 so dot product of two vectors are nothing but coefficient of i with coefficient of another vector i and so a1 into b1 then j coefficient with j coefficient that is a2 b2 and a3 b3 so it is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 then how to find out angle between two vectors angle between two vectors is denoted by cos of theta and it is equal to a dot b divided by magnitude of a into magnitude of b now next cos cross product of two vector so suppose we have first vector a which is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and b vector is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap then a cross b is denoted by determinant of first right i j k vector then after that right coefficient of a vectors and coefficient of b vectors that is a1 a2 a3 and b1 b2 b3 now uh, scalar triple product scalar triple product is denoted by a dot b cross c why it is scalar product because b cross c is one vector and a is one vector and dot product of two vectors is always a scalar uh, quantity so a dot b cross c is again denoted by determinant of a1 a2 a3 
first row then second vector is b so b1 b2 b3 and third row is c that is c1 c2 c3 if we solve this we will get a dot b cross c similarly it is also called as box product of three vectors that is a b and c now in box product we cannot change order we have to follow this order a b c or b c a or c a b so it can also be written as b dot c cross a and c a dot a cross b now vector triple product triple product means cross product of three vectors that is a cross b cross c now it is equal to definition is it is a first vector into third vector that is a dot c into second vector b minus b dot a multiplied by third vector that is c next position vector so uh, uh, there is a reference point called as origin so from that reference point we measure the distance along x axis y axis and z axis so let r be the position vector then it is represented as xi plus yj plus zk again x y and z are the uh, distance along x y z axis then derivative of vector is now our topic is vector differentiation so we are interested in derivative of vector so derivative of vector of this r vector is dr by dt dr by dt is derivative of x component with respect to t that is dx by dt then y component dy by dt and z component dz by dt now this dr by dt is also called as velocity vector or tangent vector so remember this velocity vector is denoted by dr by dt or tangent vector is denoted by dr by dt now acceleration and we know that acceleration is rate of change of velocity so rate of change of velocity it is equal to d2 dv by dt but v is dr by dt so it become d2r by dt square which is equal to again find out one more derivative of this previous term that is d2x by dt square i cap plus d2y by dt square j cap plus d2z by dt square k cap now if we want to find out simply uh, derivative of two uh, dot product of two vectors d by dt of a dot b it is equal to a dot db by dt plus da by dt dot b uh, and derivative of a cross b it is equal to a cross db by dt plus first derivative uh, first vector derivative that is da by dt cross b but here we cannot change the order of derivative because it is a cross product and we know that a dot b is equal to b dot a but a cross b is not equal to b cross a it is minus of b cross a that's why we cannot change this order we have to follow this order only next d by dt of a dot b cross c again find out one by one derivative a dot b cross d b cross dc by dt plus a dot db by dt cross c plus da by dt dot b cross c so let us take one example a curve is given by x is equal to t square plus 1, y is equal to 40 minus 3 and z is equal to 2t square minus 60. Find angle between tangent at t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 2. So first whenever x, y, z components are given always write down position vector r that is r is equal to xi plus yj plus zk. i cap, j cap, k cap can also be written as i bar, j bar and k bar. Now r bar is equal to for substituting value of x, y, z here. So x value is t square plus 1i plus 40 minus 3j plus 2t square minus 60k. Now we want angle between tangent. Now tangent vector is dr by dt. So dr by dt let us consider denote it by capital T. It is equal to derivative of t square is 2ti. Derivative of 40 minus 3 is 4j. And derivative of 2t square minus 60k is 40 minus 6 into k. Now we want this tangent at two points means we are getting two tangent here. Tangent dr by dt at t is equal to 1 and dr by dt as t is equal to 2. So dr by dt at t is equal to 1 we denote it by a and at t equal to 2 we denote it by b. Now substitute here t is equal to 1 first 2 into 1i that is 2i 4j plus 2 into 4 on uh, 4 into 1 minus 6 
which is minus 2k. Then uh, substitute t is equal to 2, 2 into 2 that is 4i, 2 plus 4j as it is plus 2 into 4 that is 8 minus 6 plus 2k. Now we find out dot product of these two vectors. Why? Because we want to find out angle and formula for angle is cos theta is equal to a dot b by magnitude of a magnitude of b. So we want here magnitude of a magnitude of b as well as a dot b. So a dot b is equal to again dot product of two vector means coefficient of i with i, j with j and k with k. Adding all we will get dot product. So it is 2 multiplied by 4 plus 4 multiplied by 4 minus 2 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 20. Now magnitude of a. Magnitude of a is square root of i coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j square plus coefficient of k square which is 2 square that is 4, 4 square 16 and minus 2 square is 4 which is equal to root 24. Now magnitude of b. It is equal to square root of 4 square 16, 4 square 16 and 2 square is 4 which is equal to 6. So cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by magnitude of a magnitude of b which is equal to 20 divided by 6 root 24. It is equal to 5 by 3 root 6. Now theta is equal to cos inverse of uh, 5 by 3 root 6. Thank you.